News Watch 14 rules the sky with Chopper 14. Uh, my next guest tonight just joined Saturday Night Live this season. Please welcome very funny guy, Jimmy Fallon. How old are you, Jimmy? What are you? Uh... 24. Oh, okay, yeah. You same just... age as the show. <laughs> yeah. The, really? The same age as Saturday Night Live? You yeah. were born the year that Saturday Night Live went on the air. In the studio. <laughs> I'm trying to make it more I remember that show. And that it was took cool. This long to get on. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, this is actually kind of a momentous occasion. This is your first talk show. You've never been a talk show guest before. Yeah, ever. This is my first ever talk show. Cool. Good the for Cole you. Show. This, is the first, this isn't the first time I've actually been on a show, a talk show. Well, because, what, um, what show were you on? I did this. Uh, uh, me and my friends went to go see Regis and Kathy Lee. Mm -hmm. and, how, uh, how long ago? Like this is like three years ago mm -hmm. or four years ago. I had a crush on Kathy Lee Gifford in college, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Okay. The, I'm gonna leave that alone. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I and, respect uh, that you have a crush on her. Yeah. And so, uh, so we went to the show and, uh, uh, you know, they have this trivia thing where they ask a trivia question at the beginning and the person on the phone's like, uh, you know, they answer some easy question and if it's right, they get to share the gift with someone in the audience. They pick right. a number from 1 to 120. So, uh, my friend was like, me and my friend Gerard, we're like, uh, all right, look, whatever number they say, stand up. Like, we won. <laughs> you know, he's like, all right, cool, do it. So we're in seat like 112 or something like that, you know, and they go, uh, you know, uh, pick a number. She goes, eight. And we were like, Woo! <laughs> the camera like came up to us because like, it's, it's, it's live TV and right. like you know you're on you know right, so it's right. exciting. So then like it was awesome and uh, and then like we cut to commercial and Regis is going around like how you doing how are you how are you and like we're coming up like hey Regis and he goes why <laughs> what's wrong with you kids why <laughs> and like walked away and we're just like. Like, dude, Regis Philbin just yelled at us. Yeah. <laughs> like, That's funny, because now that if you get famous and stuff and have a great career for the rest of your life, whenever you pass Regis in the street or at a party, you'll be like, why? <laughs> why? He's just going to follow you around. He's pretty much do that with everybody. Yeah, for That's everybody. That's just how he does? communicates. Yeah, after you know. every guest. I yeah. want a beagle! <laughs> That's <laughs> everything is that speed. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You did, uh, you did something I thought was pretty interesting, because most people do, you know, impressions. You do impressions. A lot of people do impressions of, like, standard celebrities that have been around for a long time. You did a, an Adam Sandler yeah. impression, which he's, is, you know, he's a young guy to be impersonating. Was that a hard impression to get? Yeah, uh, he's, uh, Adam Sandler's like one of my all-time favorites. You know, mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan of the show. It's like a dream to be on the show, and I used to watch it all the time like a sicko. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but anyways, I, I love Adam Sandler so much, and I just like kind of got into his voice. He has like four stages to Adam Sandler voices like he he kind of mumbles a lot you know when he first starts talking how you doing and then uh, <laughs> and then like sometimes he'll be like a <laughs> and then he gets excited he's like why are you why are you bothering me stop it please <laughs> you <laughs> then he reaches the point where he's just really amazed like shut up <laughs> You know, it's great, it's like, because Adam, you know, Adam comes around sometimes, does, it, does our show, but in the future, if he can't do it or something, he can't make it, he just come he in so and do cool. that, yeah. He went on Rosie O'Donnell, and uh, she brought up, brought up that I did him on the show, and he was real cool about that. And oh, that's like, nice. Well, he's it a was nice awesome. guy. No, it was the best you, thing You ever. also, uh, you know, have you been thinking about doing other cast members from that era, like more yeah. recent cast members, impersonating them? I was thinking doing, like, a Chris Rock. Mm -hmm. You know, he does, he, you know, he's like one of the first people to do the 1-800-Collect commercials. That's right. You know, that about a year and a half ago, he was doing those those one eight hundred commercials. Right? I don't know if you, know, you if you use one eight hundred collect, you have to talk like Chris Rock. <laughs> you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, if you use it, like I called my mom and I was like, uh, "Hey, ma, how's me, Jimmy? <laughs> how's that? How's the dog? <laughs> Did anybody call for me? Who? Gerard? Is he still on crack? <laughs> <laughs> man, man, the last time I saw him, the last. He told me I wasn't eating right. <laughs> he told me I wasn't eating right. The man is on crack. <laughs> man, I never heard of a healthy conscious crackhead. <laughs> He's like the Richard Simmons of crack. I know the fall food groups. Ain't one of them crack. <laughs> he, said, he said, Jimmy, why you call me all the time? I said, when I call you 1 800 collect, I can save you up to 45%. That's a lot of crack. <laughs> oh you God. did a whole routine. Yeah, this is You can't stop once you get started.
Did, uh... <laughs> Do you, uh, have you ever met, I mean, I mean, you know some of these guys, but have you ever impersonated someone that you didn't know and then you met them and it was awkward? Yeah, I, uh, I met Seinfeld at, uh, at one of the parties and I told him, I said, uh, I said, hey, Jerry, uh, how are you? I'm, I'm Jimmy Fallon, and I, I, I wanted, I'm on Saturday Night Live, and I want to do you on the show. And he goes, mm -hmm. well, you know, it's been done. Mm -hmm. and I was like, yeah, it was such a seinfeld -y thing to say. And right, I was like, right. yeah, I know, but I just want to try and do it. He's like, well, how can you do it? What do you do? I'm like, <laughs> I do that. He's like, you do what? I'm like, what are you going to wear if you do it? You can't wear that. I'm like, I'll wear that. <laughs> such a seinfeld -y bit. <laughs> It's, like it's funny, it's funny, because he does, I feel like a little Irish accent there. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's the Irish side of it. Yeah, there's like a little, I heard like a little a leprechaun in there, voice. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? I don't know, bro. <laughs> He's probably Irish, we didn't know. <laughs> you're a, uh, you're a single guy, and I imagine now you're, 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 uh... That's right, this... <laughs> This show has pretty much just become a dating scene. That's all it is here. Yeah, me and Andy Garcia yeah. are going to go out there later <laughs> right. on. You're single. All right. I feel like that guy on Singled Out. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure he has a name. I'll think of it. Chris Hardwick. Yeah. Uh, I didn't want to hurt his feelings. Um, you, uh, what's it like for you now? You got the show. You must be doing well. Are you good with women? Are you a good, well, good it's flirt? To, yeah, it's easy to meet women, but it's hard to uh, actually, you know, go out with them because uh, I'm not too good at that. You know, if I, like, see him out or something like that. I got some girl's number the other day, and um, I called her up, and I'm like, um, like, hey, this is this is Jimmy Fallon. I saw you the other day at the bar, and I figured, you know, I'd, I'd give you a call. Maybe we can hang out or something. And then, like, she has an answer machine. I was leaving a message, and uh, this automated computer came on and said, uh, if you'd like to listen to your message, please press 1. If you'd like to re-record your message, please press 2. Something like, that's pretty cool. I got a good option. You know, I can do a little better my second try, you know? Right, <laughs> right, right, right. Why not? You know, my second try, I think, re-record. Like, hey, this is Jimmy Fallon. I saw at the bar the night. I think we would hang out or something, you know, whatever. Right, right. So I'm having fun with it. I'm like, re-record. I'm like, give me sound. I show like the bar the night. I think we would hang out or something. <laughs> Play Yahtzee, whatever. Hang out. You know, I'm having fun. I'm like, re-record. You have just left your third and final re-recorded match. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't hear from her, did you? <laughs> I didn't think so. That water's free, by the way. You it? Yeah, that's for you. water for everybody. Well, uh, people got to tune in. Uh, that's all the time we got, but people got to tune in. Uh, Bill Murray is hosting Saturday Night Live yeah, the best. this Saturday. Uh, one of the cooler guys to be hosting with musical guest Lucinda Williams. Jimmy, uh, I don't know much, but I think you're going far. Really funny stuff. Thank you for coming. <laughs> really. Thanks for having me on. Jimmy Fallon, everybody. We'll be right back with the Afghan Wings. Everywhere I go now, I get treated like a star. Well, not everywhere. <laughs> Actually, just at Arby's. I mean, take this five-book value roundup. Oh, and talk about power. Talk about respect. Hey, I get to choose three beef and cheddars, or four regular roast beefs, or five barbecues for five bucks. I mean, five bucks, that's nothing. I made twice that my last picture. You can go anywhere and get filled up, but you can only get the five-buck value roundup at Arby's.